Hey guys, so I'm doing a bunch of videos in a row and I'm just super pumped and it's the evening now and I just did a consultation and I'm really, I feel like, I feel good like James Brown said, I feel fantabulous, yes, but I wanted to talk really quickly about, and this is quick because I need to do it again, so I'm going to be a little bit redundant, but it's a thought I had. You can literally be in ketosis and not be in ketosis. <laughs> you can be in ketosis and not be fat adapted, and there's a difference between the two. So here's the problem. You guys go and you drop your carbs and you add some fat and you're like, I'm in ketosis, I got the keto breath. <sighs> I mean, ketosis, I lost a lot of weight. Oh, boy. Everybody keeps saying they're in ketosis, which is why I can't stand when people go to the message boards and the Facebook message boards. And, oh, there's so much crap now. Like, yo, when I started, there was nothing. Now there's all this stuff and everybody's a damn expert. I don't understand, yo. Like, be careful. Do your due diligence and research and find out what is consistent because that's really all you can do. And the science is evolving. So in my last video, I spoke about a woman who had perfect ketogenic numbers, keto, highly keto-adapted numbers, and very quickly early on, but still had issues of adrenal fatigue. She couldn't figure it out, and I was like, damn, she must not be using ketones because her glucose is low. Now, she did, did not have hypoglycemic uh, symptoms, which is shaky and all this stuff, but she didn't have the energy. So somewhere along there, she was using some ketones, being at 3.5 and whatnot, and glucose of 60, but she wasn't using enough to have what I'm luckily able to have, which is what? Energy, 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 energy all day long. And to get ripped and lean on a dime. So I think I mentioned this the other day, somebody said, you're insulin resistant. I was like, uh, do you know anything about insulin resistance? Uh, hello? If I was insulin resistant every time that I get stressed, my, and when my blood glucose drops, um, my battery is starting to be too low. Um, I hope it's still filming. Yes, it is. Okay. Whew. Um, you can't get ripped if you're insulin resistant because insulin's up there too high and it's storing and it's not burning. Yes? You become insulin sensitive. So when you do have a stressful event, which we all do, we're all gonna produce glucose, even if you eat carbs or not, I'm able to clear out my glucose, which clearly when you're insulin resistant from keto, then you might be going through a physiological insulin resistance response, which is your muscles shutting off the ability to uptake glucose that we're making no matter what, because that's what cortisol does and that's what the adrenals do. How can I get this bubbly and be anabolic, natural, if I was insulin resistant on keto? Really? Come on now. Be very careful, you guys. There's a lot of conflicting information out there. And I say, don't just trust me. And don't just trust this person or that person. Now, do I have some street cred? Yes, because I talk to people all the time in consultations, day in, day out, day in, with tons of notepads and everything. I've learned so much. But you still have to go out there and do your due diligence and realize that these stories that you see on the internet, they're bullshit, okay? You don't know the background of these people's lives. And when you open up the vault, you realize who out there really has a business? Who out there is getting the gains, especially in your 40s, 50s, and 60s? Because when you have these 20-something-year-old dudes all, dude, I'm in ketosis. I'm like, come on, yo. Come on. You've got to know the difference between producing ketones and if you're using them. Are they viable? Are they going through the Krebs cycle? Are they getting to the blood-brain barrier? Are you using them? What's your glucose? Do you use a glucometer? A lot of you guys are not. You're, you're using the urine strips and you think you're in ketosis. You're not. You're not. And you don't have the business. And now I've got chemtrails because there's always freaking flights and sirens going on outside my window. Okay, guys, that's it. I really wanted to talk about the difference between being in ketosis as opposed to being highly keto-adapted 
there is a difference. Get a glucometer. It's mostly right, sometimes not, because I have one case where it was not right. But in the 90 percentiles, it is. And you can match your opposition of low glucose and high ketones to energy you have. So, with that said, um, yeah, know the difference between the two. Know things that can knock you out, like your protein being too high. Know things like don't have your, your fiber go too low. Your veggies, don't try to do no carbs and think you're gonna get into ketosis, because you're not. And realize that if you don't get your ass to sleep, you ain't gonna produce ketones. You're not gonna use them. You're not gonna get the business. And always know that your glucose can always spike, always, with a stressful event, with a histamine response, by eating egg whites. Yeah, you heard me. Um, anything can do it. So just learn more. I'll keep pumping out the information coach a lot of people, so I just, I feel so privileged, I feel so blessed, I feel so lucky to get that information, because it helps me learn, and it helps you guys learn, or at least you've got some information that you can test, test stuff, stuff's information, so when everybody was complaining about the no nuts and no cheese and no caffeine, ah! <laughs> when people are freaking out that I said, like, dude, I'm just doing videos, and I'm putting out information for free, like, really? Like, you know, I don't gain anything by telling people what not to eat. I don't care. I eat what I want to eat. You eat what you want to eat. But always just know the science behind phytic acid, casein, even the small little itty bit of it. Yes, some of the toxins. If you have nightshade issues, just learn. Okay, guys, it, that's it. If you want to learn more, go to stephaniepersona.com or Stephanie the Business Person on my Facebook fan page or Stephanie Ketogenic. And I'm just stoked on the keto game. Peace out, guys.